Jim Rupert and Dave Kane. We're back here for week two of the SJR.com scouting report. Dave, high school football in the area. The big one this week is going to be at Auburn. At Auburn. Mount Olive and Auburn. Mount Olive and Auburn, yeah. Uh, I, I like the experience of Mount Olive. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean, they, they do have experience as far as just their track record in recent years. They did, again, you know, they did lose several big guys on the line, including Scribner and a couple of others. They had to replace a couple skill guys. Uh, but as they as they displayed in week one, they, they beat uh, Girard, you know, pretty handily. It raised some eyebrows. I thought it might be a closer game. Uh, you know, Auburn... Has some experience. points in the first quarter. For yeah, Auburn, yeah. Auburn just or just just jumped on a, on a rebuilding Nakoma's team. Auburn's first string offense really only played the first half, so the numbers could have been even greater. Probably. Who do you like in the game? I like Auburn. I like Auburn. I mean, not. I mean, playing at home doesn't hurt. I just think they have. Dave Bates came away just very pleased with Auburn's line play, on top of their skill position stuff. But but they have they have size and experience. I think they just, they just have a lot of weapons, uh, both on the ground and throwing the ball. The Gosmo and Rademacher for, for Mount Olive is going to be a tough, tough combination for Auburn, the young Auburn team to deal with. I, I think that's going to be a heck of a football game. I, I, th- I think it should be. I mean, it's, it's, and it could go a long way in deciding the Prairie State Conference, even though it's week two. Another Prairie State game, Williamsville and Pawnee. Pawnee surprised some people beating Riverton last week. They did. They did. Uh, they really only scored one, uh, I guess, offensive touchdown. They, you know, they scored on a couple other, a couple other plays. I think a t- touchdown, re- you know, kick return, that type of thing. But I think they really came out and they just took it to Riverton. I think Riverton might have been caught off guard a little bit. Williamsville, on the other hand, you know, went down to Kincaid, and you know, Kincaid's. I think they are going to try to you know turn the corner, but uh, Williamsville, uh, you know, took a convincing win there. Uh, I yeah, I think it's. I believe it's at Pawnee. Uh, I, I'll tell you, I, I like the Indians uh, just because they. They, you know, they beat a very good Riverton team last week. Solid program at Williamsville. I'm going to go with Williamsville. I just think that they've put together, they've been able to replace guys every year. They had the Urbis group, and they had the, the, you didn't think you could replace those guys. I just think they've been able to bounce back, and, and, and I think they do a really good job down at Williamsville. I'm going to I'm going to take the bullets in that one. It's a good it's a good week two. It is a good week two matchup. A couple good ones in the Prairie State. Our final matchup of this week is the the uh, WIBC game, Mount Sterling Brown County. And Greenfield dash slash Palmyra Northwestern. Well, yeah, Co- consolidations galore. But you, Dan Bowman's got it going down there. He's really made that. He's really made that co-op work at Greenfield. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, I, I think people wondered just this was the Greenfield tradition at first. You know, would it have an effect on it? Uh, you know, the first year they did so-so with the co-op. Last year they turned the corner. Uh, this year they're really strong. Uh, they had a big win last week. Uh, you know, T.J. Bullion, who goes to Northwestern, uh, was the transfer, the had gained over 100 yards for Greenfield. They're going up against a very deep, experienced uh, Brown County team that, that really uh, thumped a good Bunker Hill team in Week mm-hmm. 1. Um, a little contrast in styles? Uh, Brown County like to put it up a little bit? A little bit, but make, compared to last year, maybe they don't put up quite as much. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, again, it's at it's at Mount Sterling. It's kind of a long trip for Greenfield. I just, I think I'd have to go with Greenfield, uh, just experience wise, and and just how they looked in Week One, really. I but like, it, it should be a good game. I like what Dan Bowman does. I'm gonna let's go with Greenfield too. Yeah, that's our our big three this week on the Scouting Report. www.sjr.com. We'll be back next week with more.